Nope, this is a plant. This is a plant structure Thargoid thing. Ow! Let's probe the dickens out of this thing. You're always on the dark side of things, you know that's notice that? You never go to a site that's like on the light side of a planet. It's like, doesn't anything want to grow in the sun? Come on, Asp, break! Break, Asp! It braked. It actually braked. Look at you. Look at this little boy right here, hiding in the dark. What you gotta say for yourself, huh? Common Thargoid Barnacle. I don't know what's so common about it. I also don't know what's so Thargoid about it. Oh, the things we see when we're looking for Raxla. Looks like a hot Jupiter over there and it's glowing purple. It's a brown dwarf. So are you guys enjoying your fleet carriers? Huh? Are they everything you could have ever dreamed of? Now, brown dwarfs kind of skeeve me out, but they're also so beautiful. It's going to let me ske probe it. Percent mapped, but there's no efficiency target. What's going to happen to our probe? Well, it got eaten, um, as it would. But no Raxlas. No Raxlas hiding in here. Come on, Raxla has to be in the Pleiades somewhere, guys. What is it with the Pleiades and these brown dwarfs, man? Or how do you guys pronounce it now? Pleiades or something? Now, isn't this a cozy little setup? A crash Thargoid ship, guys. It's almost as if I knew it would be here. <laughs> Look at that view. Maybe this ship has some information in its logs about where Raxla is. Is Raxla the Thargoid homeworld? Should I be checking out the Cone Sector? This is a neat looking moon. Blue mountains and orange sands, huh? Gravity is 0 0.09 Gs. You could probably jump off of this thing and never come back down. Price this moon is as round as it is with that low of gravity. Oh, it's everything I've ever dreamed of. I mean, scanned? Oh, that's creepy. Okay. Please tell me that's the dead ship that's making that noise. There's nothing on my radar and I can't physically see anything and there's no contacts in range. So it must be this crashed ship that scanned me and made that noise. You guys think exploring is all fun and games. It's scary as hell out here sometimes. What the hell is that noise? There we go. Oh. How did he die, I wonder? That's fine. This looks like the center mass. Well, I couldn't go inside of it. See you, dead Thargoid. Oh, look at that. There's all my tracks. Eh, that's cute. Ah, so many brown dwarfs and shit here, man. There's gotta be something else in the Pleiades than fucking brown dwarfs every two seconds. The Oracle. Now here's a proper stage. Huh! What did I do to you? Fuck! I'm getting out of here. Fuck this shit. Please fly safely, Galendo. Let me just randomly pick this moon to check for Raxla. Unknown structure scan. Doesn't appear anywhere on my locations list. Hey, it's in the light side this time. That's cool. What? Girl, that's a booty hole. I had no idea moons had booty holes. Wow, this might be Raxla, guys. This might be the Omaphilus Rift. Come on, Pegasus Galaxy. I'm ready. Uh, nope. This is a plant. This is a plant structure Thargoid thing. Ow! Wow, that hurt way more than I thought it would. It might not be Raxla, but maybe it can still take me to another world if I go through there, right? All right, let's pull a good old-fashioned investigation. The hell? Oh, scavengers? Are they, uh, human scavengers or not so much? Not so much. Oh, they're hungry boys. They don't seem to want to give a fuck about me, so... This is massive. This is way more massive than I thought it was from my ship. Must investigate booty hole. So what did you do today? Well, today, today I explored a booty hole. Way bigger than I thought it was. Uh, come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Slide on under this. Barnacle barbs, huh? The hell? Come on, upright. Alright, alright, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay. No, 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 no. I see how it is. No, I cannot get traction. Alright, that should be good. 
doesn't like me. Ah, oh, come on, get up it, man. Well, get out and fucking walk. That definitely looks like it opens up, huh? Up we go, upsy daisy. I just drive up the slope, eh? 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 How about some of this? What? That's not fair. Just like ejected me out of there. I don't even know what way he's up right now. I literally have to go to my camera just to see where the fuck I am. Alright, so I'm right there. Oh, fuck. So I am, in fact, upside down. And stuck. And even deploying the turret doesn't dislodge me. I'm just gonna fly straight there, boys. Come on, clear us. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. boy, am I good. Ah, uh, yeah. You ain't never seen SRV flying like this before. I just got halfway there in one jump. Oh, oh, and I'm still going. Y'all are like, damn, who is this sepulcher beast? No wonder they call him Spatula Ghost, man. He's ghosting on over there. Don't have a whole lot of forward momentum with this one, but I had to get over that hill, so whatever. Uh, yeah, I still haven't taken a single durability damage since I started. Oh, I'm already back, boys. Hope you're taking notes. Hope you got your little uh, Hello Kitty notepad out and you're, you're jotting. Okay, we are back. So there's a boost on the SRV. I had to boost right up this bitch. Go all the way this time. All the way. Ah! Oh, I bet you I need an unknown artifact or some bullshit. Ooh, there's some red, uh, things on my radar. I'll just ignore that for now and use my cheap way of getting in there. Alright, camera. Don't fail me now. Fly down in that hole. I thought I saw something for a second. Oh, what? There's bubbles and shit in here? There we go. Medieval lanterns and everything. <laughs> oh my god, there's eggs and shit. Yeah, we pissed off the scavengers, guys. Uh, is there any way out of here? Odd. Oh, I forgot. Thargoids have invisible wall technology. Well, you know what they say. If a glitch prevents you from progressing, then an exploit will save you. They don't say that. I just say that. Totally legitimately escaped the Thargoid mouth. Woo! That was a frantic escape, you guys. There she is. Witch Head 2. Let's get out of here. We can't let the Thargoids distract us from our real mission. But we also can't turn a blind eye to the possibility that they might be related somehow to Raxla. What the hell is attacking me? Jesus Christ! Fucking Thargoids! Is Raxla somewhere out in this nebula? Does it take us to that galaxy right there? Man, a lot of people like putting their fleet carriers in the Pleiades, boys. What the hell? What the hell? You see this? And then this guy over here. Why is everybody and their mom Park in their damn fleet carrier in this system. Oh, what the? There's nothing special about these plants. You can't even land on them. Oh god, guys, and look at this. Outside a Copernicus Observatory. Look at this. Look at this. You guys don't see a problem with this? No problems here? And then there's one. And then there's one over here. <laughs> You're not gonna find Raxla this way, guys. Did you guys know that if you give a meta alloy to a Thargoid, it leads you to treasure? Ooh, now this is a pretty system. Look at all the pretty colors. Now, why aren't there that many fleet carriers in this pretty system? That's beautiful. I've never seen a gas giant in that color. But, uh, you know, in, uh, in person, it's not as... It's not as pretty because it's so far from any, you know, starlight.
Thanks to my Patreon patrons that support my channel and my search for Raxla. This includes the Geist Recruits, Blood Butcher, Joe Osborne, and Slave. Yes, I think I may have been mispronouncing some of these names, but you know, half the time I can't even pronounce my own name, so... And of course, the next tier up, the Geist Cadets, Dafted124, and Glintwine. I think I called you Drafted124 last time, didn't I? Um, uh, well... <laughs> I went looking for Raxla and I found R's that weren't there instead. But don't worry, I might be naming a system or a planet after you here pretty soon, so... Oh, and side note, Glintwine is now officially my longest-running Patreon supporter. Also a special thanks to our wing commanders, Commander Roy Cookson and Ham Fisted, serious supporters of my channel for a long time now. I'm thinking about doing a deep space search for Raxla here pretty soon, and while I'm out there, I plan on naming some systems or planets or moons or something after each of my Patreon supporters. If you would like to support me in Patreon, the link is in the description. Until next time, Commanders!